Electric scooters versus electric unicycles. Which one's better and which one's for you? Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Hey guys, so last week I had the chance to check out the InMotion L8F for the first time and I basically had a chance to ride around for a week and get my thoughts on it as well as to try out my first electric unicycle. I did a whole review on that so check that out, I'll link it down below somewhere. Uh, but in this video I want to compare electric scooters versus electric unicycles in general and try to compare them so you know which one is the right one for you. This video is primarily comparing entry models of both categories so it's for beginners, um, I'm sure experienced riders will probably already know what they're used to. Just so want to give a quick shout out to Smart Wheel Canada for sponsoring this video today. Uh, they let me borrow the InMotion L8F for this video. If you don't know what they are already, they're an online website as well as a retail store here in Toronto where you can click and compare different models if you're looking at scooters, unicycles, segways, all that stuff. Really cool website. I'll link it down below. So first off, what are these things? An electric scooter is exactly what it sounds like. You've probably seen them in California or in the news because uh, companies like Bird and Lime off them out for basically anyone to ride them. People are really conflicted of whether or not they like them or not because people can be a little crazy on them, but that's not us because we are responsible riders. So exactly what it sounds like, it has a handlebar, you stand on it, you have a lever that accelerates you generally, and then uh, either the same lever or a brake on the other side that decelerates or brakes you. Uh, generally they're foldable so you can carry them or whatever and they're just a scooter so maybe you play with them when you're a kid it's a scooter. Electric unicycles are a bit more futuristic it's a single wheel with pedals on both sides that flip out you can stand on them and basically lean to go forwards or lean back to decelerate or go backwards it's kind of like a Segway except way cheaper and way cooler looking uh, it's also a little bit harder to ride because only one wheel in the middle so the first category is safety and this is the big one for the scooter. Because they're much easier to ride for beginners, they have a fixed handlebar to hang on to as well as an intuitive brake similar to a bike brake generally. Uh, most accidents are going to be less frequent on the scooter versus the unicycle. Now I say most accidents because as an experienced rider on a unicycle, I actually feel a lot more safer on that guy. And it's mainly due to the suspension system. Now some scooters do have really great suspension systems, but generally the entry level ones don't. They're either the smaller air fuel tires or maybe a little shock, but in general they don't handle holes or street guard tracks, anything like that, that well compared to the unicycle because the unicycle has a big 16 inch tire. This basically means if you're going over any bumpy roads or any gravel or anything like that, it can be a bit of an issue if you're not aware because the scooter is more likely to stop or flip out um, versus the unicycle. That being said, for you know just a normal person riding on the street being relatively safe with their riding, I think scooters actually are more safe because it's just standing up, very intuitive, uh, and a very easy riding process. The unicycle, on the other hand, it does take a bit of time to learn because it's a whole new experience. But admittedly, once you get used to it, it feels pretty safe. Last weekend, I went to a buddy's house of mine and let him try the unicycle, and in literally two hours, he was riding it no problem. That is pretty fast for someone to learn with no experience before, uh, but it just goes to show that literally anyone can ride these things and have a ton of fun doing it. Okay, so second category is ease of use. And what I mean by that is how easy is it for these devices to fit into our everyday lives. Both of these can be very easy to ride once you're used to it on the streets or wherever. The scooters are generally foldable, so you can either drag them behind you or carry them. In addition to the unicycles, generally have a handle so you can pick it up and carry it with you or either um, something that folds or turns out so you can carry it like a suitcase. You can drag it around with you. Overall, I'd say that the unicycle is a bit easier to handle because as a smaller form factor, uh, you can fit into a trunk easier, it's not banging into things, as well as because it's generally lighter and you can keep the motor on when you drag it, it's just easier to maneuver into, let's say, a subway or a coffee shop. Uh, I've done both many times and it's really not a big deal versus scooter because it's longer. It's a bit hard to fit through doors and just in general control. Imagine holding like you know, a 30 pound broom in your hand horizontally and trying to fit through a door and trying to like unlock locks and stuff like that and open them and close them. It can be, be a bit tedious versus the unicycle is just very simple compact design. So overall I will say that the unicycle is just easier to take with you in most situations. The last category is power. 
And this one's a bit of a toss up. Electric scooters generally go a bit faster than unicycles, while unicycles generally go for longer distances and have a larger motor. So um, in this category, I think it's best to actually compare two devices. So let's look at the InMotion L8F versus the InMotion uh, V5 or the Solar Wheel 2. It's the same thing. Both these are $900 on smart wheels, so they're comparable. The V5 has a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour, a range of 40 kilometers, and a motor, uh, a 550 watt motor. Compare that to the electric scooter, the L8F. It has a top speed of 30 kilometers, so a bit faster, but a range of 30 kilometers, and a motor size of 250 watts. And that's mainly because it has to fit inside that small front wheel, versus the V5 has the whole body to fit the motor into. So what does that actually mean? Well, the L8F can go faster, so it will hit 30, 31 kilometers an hour. I, I had no problem doing that. Um, that really is only on flat surfaces. If you hit any hills because of the smaller motor, it will decelerate fairly quickly. Um, as well as, you, again, you don't want to go over any bumps or anything too dynamic because it doesn't have that suspension system. While I don't have the V5 itself, I do have its big brother, the V8, so I know how these devices kind of stack up. Since the V5 is rated for 25 kilometers an hour, it'll probably hit you know, 23, 24 the majority of the time, unless you're really pushing it. And that's because the unicycle has to balance the person on top of it um, while also going at a speed. So it has to have a bigger motor so it can handle bumps while the user's zipping along. In general, you don't want to push that too hard. The unicycle will try to, you know, straighten you up a little bit as you're going. And that'll usually happen around like 80 to 90% of the max speed, so it's comfortable. If you're always leaning forward, you're kind of asking to get an accident if you hit any bumps or anything crazy happens. But unicycles do go farther and they're just more powerful in terms of hills, bumps, and accelerating. Um, so that, that is a big plus for the unicycles. So final thoughts, what do I think of both these devices and which one should you get? Well if you're a beginner or someone really just looking for something, some way to get from point A to B, um, maybe going to work or school or anything like that, I do think that the scooters are a better choice. Uh, they're much easier to ride, they're much more intuitive, they just kind of get the job done. That being said, if you're someone like myself and your primary goal for your, getting a device like this is the enjoyability factor, the, the fun you'll have on it, I do think unicycles are just a better product. Something about these things just feel like you're in the future, like you're gliding along. Um, once you're used to it, it does feel very intuitive as part of your body and you feel kind of like you're flying down the road, it's, it's a weird feeling and, uh, and a bunch of people stop you asking what this thing is because it just looks cool. Uh, in addition to that, the, the extra power makes maneuvering, accelerating, um, and going up hills much more fun while the scooter can really be sluggish at times. Uh, and it's just a good package. Like, it fits into my life really well. Um, I take it to work every day, and it's a lot of fun. So what do you think? Uh, if you're looking at buying one of these devices, which one are you leaning towards right now and why? Uh, and also, if you currently have one of these devices, which one do you have and what do you think of the device itself plus uh, the other one? If you have a scooter, have you looked at a unicycle or vice versa? I'd love to know your stories down below and uh, learn more about your experiences. Until next time.